Yeah, obviously this is the Sony 400mm f2.8 lens first lock. After the presentation, Sony Hong Kong kindly organized this rugby race. Before that, let's first take a look at this beautiful beast. Now this is it. <laughs> the 400mm f2.8 fixed aperture ring. Fixed, uh, fixed fixed aperture, 400mm f2.8 fixed aperture with a enormous lens hood. Yes. Lens hood that big as you can use it as a head, but this lens hood will be really effective for preventing rain from getting into the front element, especially like today. As you could imagine, this is a whole magnesium alloy body, a whole full metal body. I love this function ring, this is really quite funny. Not well, not funny, this is interesting. So you can tap it like left or right. You can obviously customize what that do. And the magnetic focus ring is linear. No more of those accelerate focusing behavior. Function buttons are ring around the lens. And then there's so loads of buttons on it. Now this is obviously AFMF. This is to limit it to different range so to save time on focusing. Full time DMF, on and off. That's an extra function button that you can have set the button to always focus to that distance when you press it. Steady shot, of course, on. And then there's three modes. One is the normal uh, steady shot. Two is for panning. And three is for something like so dynamic, so unpredictable movement. And there's a beep. But the fun hit has dust and fingerprint repel coating, something like that. Yeah, that's really good, okay. <laughs> of course, you don't put a LED filter on front because this is so huge. It's the size of a CD, actually bigger than a CD. So at the back here, you can put in this kind of small filter at the back. One thing that Sony keep mentioning about can't talk, stop talking about is the weight and it's so much lighter and then the balance somewhere here. Compared to other that other two big brands, this is like two pounds, almost two pounds less, almost one kilo less, one kilogram less. As they keep mentioning this, the balance is really good. The balance is around around here. Well, Sony have the lightest full frame body, so it's even more important for them to not making a front heavy lens. New design with more elements towards the back of the lens make this happen. Now with this lightweight lens, it will be easier for photographer who need to shoot full day, or even shoot without a monopod, give them more freedom to move around. All right, now they have an uh, actual rugby, rugby touch, as they say, not the normal rugby, rugby, rugby touch contest competition. And I have my fastest SD card in the world. It will be fun for me to have a taste right. what it's like being a spot photographer. Now the weight of this is that it doesn't look, it doesn't like any other this kind of lens. Those kind of lenses, like when you pick it up, it's like, oh, oh, this is ridiculous. This one is kind of like more manageable. Like I can keep doing that. Maybe not for the whole day, but yeah, much more manageable. Okay, this is not, not this is quite a little bit too close. I think, okay, I'm, I'm get the, the guy with the ball. No, I can't keep up. <laughs> At first, I thought I was too close to the players that I may have to move further away, but then, all right, I know what happened because the last person who used this set it to APS-C mode. Now I'm, now I'm in full spring. What the hell? Now we are talking. It's hard to say without direct comparison to another camera and lens, but this is so great to shoot with. Hit weight is so high. And the A9 is able to switch focus to a subject that's almost at the edge of the frame. Photos are so sharp from this lens at wide open f2.8. Now this is quite interesting with that switch. 
like that. Switching from APS-C to full frame. It kind of like just suddenly got a zoom. Like APS-C is full frame. APS-C is full frame. Interesting though, when it is writing to the card, I can't switch back from APS-C to full frame. All in all, this lens feels nice in hand, great balance, light length speed focusing, and photos are sharp at wide open. Shame that I don't have too much time with the lens to test all the aspects like lens flare and color fringing as we'll have to share just a few lens between all the media. Although that's an easter egg at the site. Quite naughty, they got the C word here. Oh wow, okay. They got the C word, the, 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 the brand C. The brand C, usually you see those uh, advertising. Oh, this is the brand C and brand A and brand C. This is the brand C. Okay, this is, yes. It's quite, quite a different, really obvious difference. <laughs> Don't drop it. As I say, this is the big, the big difference is that these kind of lens, when you pick it up, it's like, oh, what the, what the, what the fuck? But the, the Sony one is like, uh, yeah, yeah, it's still heavy, but uh, yeah, it's all right. By the way, I almost forgot to show you this case that come with the lens. Space for accessories, this and that. 